Check it out. We're down here in the holler today, testing hollow points. Ammo testing coming at you. All ammo testing in this video will be done with a Glock 19 Generation 3 with a four inch barrel. Thanks for joining us down here in the holler for some ammo testing. We are testing the Federal HST 124 grain plus P. And if you notice in the title of the video, this is uh, part two, the expansion test. If you'll go over and check out Alaskan Ballistics, he's got part one of this video where he does the chronograph, checks out the speeds, the velocities, how good this plus P is really doing. So this is a very popular self-defense round, round for police officers. It's, it's extremely popular. It could be one of the most popular. So what we're going to do is check and see how it expands. I'm going to sling one of them into these uh, water jugs over here. So uh, let's sling one in it and see what it does. You ready, Amy? Let's do it. All right. Let's see if we can find a bullet. There it is right here, laying on the, on the wood. What a beautiful round. Whoa, we'll get a nice picture of that. That is a beautiful round. That is really expanded nice. And uh, that's the thing, one of the things about these HSTs, why they're so popular is that uh, they are really reliable and expanding and uh, they're accurate round two. This did a lot of damage to these plastic water jugs. I mean, I know you can't tell a whole lot about what it'll do to somebody in a water jug, but that's a lot of damage to these water jugs. And we went through one, two, three of them. Three two liter jugs of water. So let's see if we go through more or less with some denim over. It really expanded well and did great through the just the water jugs. So now I put four layers of old wore out blue jean denim on it. That is not an IWBA standard, but it kind of gives you an idea how it would do maybe through some heavy clothing or something. So let's sling it into it. What do you say, Amy? All right. All right. Woo! All right. Not feeling very lucky today. All right, my OCD kicked in. Let's put four layers of denim on it, shoot it again. We're gonna do that again because the bullet shot out of the side and I'd really like to recover that bullet that went through the denim. It went through the exact same amount of water jugs. It went through three water jugs and shot out the last one. So we're gonna shoot it again, see if we can catch this bullet. You ready, Amy? Ready. See, perfect. And that's through four layers of denim. That's a really, uh, that's a really large expanded bullet. I mean, it's, it's almost something the size of a dime spinning through your body with sharp edges. The bullet looks exactly the same as it did uh, through the water jugs with no denim. And that's why it's so popular because it performs so well. But uh, let's do one more thing. Let's, let's do a couple more things. What do you say? Let's do it. I said one more thing. I got a lot more stuff to do. And as always, I'd like to thank my ammo sponsor, My Paycheck, for buying these federal HSTs. Thank you. Sometimes people see plus P on an ammunition and they just think that it's going to be super powerful or hard to handle or whatever. These federal HST plus P's to me feel like a soft shooting plus P. I have shot some plus P's loaded by other companies that really felt hot, but these feel, to me, that doesn't feel like there's a lot of difference between the plus P and the standard pressure. but. You're gonna to have to check out Alaskan Ballistics video to tell what the uh, ballistics are out of a Glock 19. So uh, it'll be in the description below. So what I've done, the first round is gonna be standard pressure, then plus P, then standard pressure, then plus P. And you can kind of see the recoil. I'm gonna shoot it one-handed and just kind of see, uh, it's a real soft shooting round. You ready, Amy? Let's do it. All right, so the first one's gonna be uh, standard pressure, then plus P, then so on and so forth. You can tell that the plus P is just a little bit hotter, but it's not that big a difference. So, uh, man, that's a great round. Let's shoot something else. All right, don't forget to go check out Alaskan Ballistics video. He does the part one to this video, and he's up there in Alaskan. They got mountains and uh, 
uh, mooses and bears and Sarah Palin. Oh my. All right, so check it out. I went down to the Highland Motel and I bought a meth head melon. And I'm gonna shoot this meth head melon and see what kind of damage we get with the uh, Glock 19 Gen 3 with the uh, Federal HST plus P, 124 grain. You ready, Amy? Let's do it. Well, I mean, sometimes a visual speaks for itself. And uh, I believe that that speaks for itself. Uh, that is complete and utter destruction of the watermelon. It went through several water jugs. Uh, that's just nasty. It smells good. It smells delicious. I feel like I could have just wasted a real good watermelon. I mean, you can see, I know that a watermelon is not really a, a, a real good, t it's, it's not like shooting meat. Oh man, it's so good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh man. I hope Lasting Ballistics appreciates us shooting a deliciously sweet melon. So check it out. We caught the bullet. Let's see what this bullet looks like. I mean, that, that watermelon is destroyed. It looks just like all the other bullets. It looks perfect. I mean, look at what it done to the inside of the watermelon. It like, it, it turned it into like jelly. We're about to leave the holler. We got one more test for you, so we're gonna shoot one more thing with it, and uh, let's go, Amy. Whoosh -a, whoosh -a. All right, check it out. We're not down in the holler no more. We're on top of the hill, and we got a 2000 Ford Focus that we're gonna sling some of these Federal HSTs at with the through the Glock 19. Gonna shoot it a meth head melon and see how the windshield does. Uh, windshield. This ain't real scientific test. This is just for fun. So uh, enjoy. I think this bullet performed really well. It's not a bonded bullet. And some people on the internet, you go in the chat rooms and forums or some people in the, some people like, I ain't carrying something that ain't a bonded bullet. Well, whatever. This bullet actually did very good through, we'll put some pictures up, but this is a couple of them that I captured. It went through the windshield. Then it went through the meth head melon. It went through two water jugs. It went through a piece of plywood and it was stopped by the seat. I got these out of the seat behind it. So, um, I, the, for a bullet that's not bonded, that performed pretty well through a uh, pretty tough barrier. That that window, the windshield on this Ford Focus has a lot of slope to it, you know. But uh, the plus P124 grain just flew right through it like a hot knife through butter. So uh, it's it's a pretty dang good bullet, don't you think, Amy? Yeah. All right, thanks for checking out our video on the Federal HST 124 grain plus P. It's one of my favorite rounds. It performs really well. And um, this video was really just for fun, but you know, it kind of shows you what the bullet can do, what the bullet's capable of. Don't forget to go check out Alaskan Ballistics. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and go check out our Facebook because I update it sometimes. Till next time, hit it, Bill. All right. Ooh, we got orange underwear.